So recently there's been a sit down and a huge truce between the Sin City Disciples, the Outcast MC, and the Thunder Gods MC. We've been talking about this on the program for many years about the 1% clubs finally hashing out their differences. And this is a great step towards it. In this second part of this interview with Tayshawn of the Thunder Gods MC, we talk about how him and Pipeline One Percenter of Outcast use music to further this agenda. Let's get into it. things that I, I feel like a lot of bros stand on far as the nation period is I'm not going to have you do some shit I wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I, I'm not going to say, go wash my bike. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I can, yeah. but how the f- I'm going to disrespect you and then you're going to throw these on and now you're going to have some type of resentment to me down the line because I bet because as men, they go home to their mom, I mean, they, they, they baby moms, their wife, their kids, and they king in their house. Yeah. How I'm going to bring you over and treat you like a peasant. Yeah. Feel me? I, 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 I do the most far as I, I knowledge check prospects. You feel what I'm saying? But far as me, mine is a little bit rougher because I, I, I felt like my leadership seen some more in me. You feel me? And they usually be like hard. And I think that's, it transitioned to how I handle the prospects, but I, I cut it, I cut it a little bit. <laughs> like I can't be as worse than them, but it's mostly like random ass missions in the middle of the night. Where you at? Um, times when you want to go home, it ain't up to you to go home. Like until like you better not be anything but the last person leaving that event. It's times that bros had to leave, but they probably still bartending, and I'm staying in there until the property gone. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it built in me that I'm earning my place there, yeah. and I feel like when you when they gave me that patch, it was just like I earned it. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? And that's the reason why I got emotional about it because it's not really easy. For a group of black men to accept another black man without any anything coming behind it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I thought that was about like I broke down because initially, you know, we didn't come in with these with the one. You had to earn the one. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's the era that I came in. Yeah. I cried when I got my one. Like yeah. it was like, yo, you a cry baby ass nigga. Like it's like, bro, like anything that if a nigga ain't emotional about this situation right here, like yeah. you're dedicating your life to something. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're not really emotional about that, I'm I'm questioning you. If you're not crying when you get your patches, bro, like you ain't really earned that shit. Like, what do you think about um earning the diamond as opposed to uh getting fully patched and having the diamond on your cut already? Because I had to earn mine too, mm-hmm. and I think it makes you respect every, every piece. Patch. You know, it it that situation is a fifty fifty thing. It's yeah. It, it's a, it's a, it's on a scale because in our reality, yeah. It has that, that thing where it's like you had to earn it and it's, what's on your vest, like everything on my vest right now is earned. Like yeah. nobody can question what I got on me. Yeah. You feel me? But in the same boat, it, it creates this, it, it creates this entity where the one is more important than your, your colors. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like if what's more important than what's on your back. You just opened my mind up. Yeah, that's crazy. Why would you want, why would I earn something else? I earned the best thing that this glove had to offer. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? But in the same boat, if the person ain't bred the proper way, he'll put this on and his head will go crazy because he'll see another person with his arm moving a certain way. You feel me? But not knowing this guy had earned this. So he has his reasons and ways of why he's moving the way he moved. But you see him doing that with no reason behind your actions. So now you're just looking like a hooligan and you don't know when to cut it on and when to cut it off because now this shit start pumping motherfucking muscles in your body. that's a knowledge drop right there. <laughs> the back yeah that yeah bro that's that's what it's all about it's about the club about. itself not the actual thing people that's not people. I mean people not people not dying over diamonds people dying over their colors yeah you know what I mean? the diamonds is not the diamond is just what connects us yeah you feel what I'm saying but the, the, the one on our back is what separate us you feel me so yeah. it's certain guys that's around that really don't want to wear the one. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm not about to put this before my club. I'm not about to put this before, you know, and some people don't know how to decipher it. Some people really get stuck on the fact of, I'm a tough guy. Like I said earlier, you got to be a man. 
Yeah. You got to be a man. Like, that's all you got to be. Like, you can be a family man. You know what I'm saying? But if you see your brother getting beat up, you might can't fight worth a lick. But you jumping in there because at the end of the day, that's your brother. You love him. Mm-hmm. One thing, and I, I, I love quoting, like, the different bikers. And one of the quotes that always stuck in my head, this is one of my first quotes that I actually banged. And this came from Kapo. Love is gangster. Yeah. You'll do anything for the person you love. A mother will kill somebody for her kids. You get what I'm trying to say? That is the most dopest line ever because it literally says it front front and center. Like, if I love you enough, I'm going to go beyond what I'm usually used going for. You feel what I'm saying? That's the purpose of the brotherhood. If you really love your brother, you wouldn't want no harm to come to your blood, brother. Mm-hmm. So if you in this club, you're supposed to have that same mentality. Yeah. Like, I know it's motherfuckers that probably don't like me. Motherfuckers that probably envy me. Who cares? If you my brother... If shit hit the fan, I'm holding you down. Yeah. Then it's fuck you out. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead back to regularly schedule programming, but I can't play in the gray area. So I want to ask you a question because it, it refers to your music, mm-hmm. but it lines up the question what I'm what I'm gonna ask you after. Is brotherhood like really a real thing? Does it really exist? Yes. I agree. It, it does, it definitely exists. But I think what people get it confused at is do you have to get lucky to get it? No. It's people feel like they're supposed to get brotherhood from everybody in their organization. It's not the case. You come from a different walk of life. I my I came from gang banging. You probably had both parents. Mm-hmm. But you're still a man at the end of the day. You like to ride, you're not scared to throw your hands. You just have a different you have a different upbringing than me. Yeah. So certain things I might view, you might not view. Prime example, I'm pretty sure it was a time period where you had some 1% organization saying we're for Trump. You had some organization saying, nah, we ain't fucking with Trump. Like, yeah, you feel yeah. me? We want this. You feel me? It's kind of like Trump 2024 type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's really on some shit. Like, you have a different perspective. You feel me? It's going to always be a different perspective. And you got to just basically put yourself, not, not in categories per se, but put yourself in a situation where you're comfortable around the people you with. Yeah. Now, brotherhood... It's different levels of brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? It's the ones you you go out the anniversaries with, ones you take runs with, and it's the ones you invite to your house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to see where you fit in there. Like, one thing I was taught when I was coming up was you can't expect yourself out of others. Yeah. You can't expect yourself out of others. The things that I do, you won't do. I know if you smack my mother, I might shoot you in your head. Next man must. Come on, man. Why would you do that? Yeah. Come on, man. It's a different type of mindset. You feel mm-hmm. me? You can't knock that person by how they raised. And, the, and when you try to force somebody to be that, you basically create a co-defendant. Yeah. <laughs> you making this guy do something he don't want to do. And then when he get caught up in it, he can't stand on business because you put him in a situation he ain't belong. So tell me about your journey becoming a nomad and also some of the knowledge that we talked about, about the drifter, the difference between a nomad and the drifter. The journey far is basically at the end of the day, I I believe being a member for the nation and not a member for a, a chapter. You feel me? And it was in my perspective, it was like when I did my drifter run, I met so many brothers. You feel me? I had brothers that let me sleep in a crib with their wives, their kids, their dog, the fridge open to me, cook for me, feed me, show me around the neighborhood, teach me the lingo. How can I come back home and then get that man my back? Me being a nomad, for me, solidified that I belong to everybody. I don't belong to just New Jersey or I don't just belong to a state. I, after going drifter, I didn't even consider myself a, a local member because it was like I rarely was home. So for the people that don't know, what is a drifter? A drifter is uh, a thunder guard, first and foremost. That basically makes it from one coast to another and back on his Harley Davidson motorcycle okay. with his colors on. So what is a nomad to you? A brother with no home. He belong everywhere. He belong to everyone. What do you think about the perception of a one percent as old lady? This you know, because a lot of females that are not in the culture. They feel that property of is like treating a woman like a dog. Mm-hmm. Let them know what a, a 1% of old lady is to you. A queen. A fucking queen. You hear me? You know how many properties hold me down? Just on the strength of my late brother. 
some of these properties love this shit probably more than the brothers involved. You feel me? Like they are, they are our nurturers. Feel me? They are our nurses and often our teachers. You feel me? They are there to hold us up when the world beating us the f down. Yeah. You feel me? And it's not, a property is not just your old lady. Property is your kid. You feel me? A property is your, your mother. That's your property. That way, if that person is in this establishment, if they f with this person, they already know the consequences that's going to come after it. But, but them knowing them consequences, they're not even going to take that step. You feel what I mean? It's, that property is, for them to wear that, it's a barrier to know this person is protected. That's basically what it is. It, but me and the generation now where it's so much, it's so much of, uh, the independent woman vibe. And there's nothing wrong with a woman being independent. You know, I, I, most of the females I know, like moms is single moms. You feel me? And strong women. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bros that was raised by single moms. Like, you feel me? So it's not a concept of this is my property. She can't do this. She can't do that. I know some properties that are more powerful than the men you know. Yeah. And not even just in the MC community, just as a human being, like as a person um, with, around or connected to society. You feel me? Yeah. Um, properties are the, the, I don't, I, I want to say the backbone, but I would just say properties is definitely, um, a major support system. What do you say to, uh, this is a huge topic on the internet. I don't know why, but what do you say about like you riding with the pack and then a bike comes by and just swerves flying past the pack, you know, passing motorcycle clubs. A lot of people feel like, it's an open road. Who owns it? Nobody owns the road. Why do you have a say so? What do you feel about that? That saying that, like, you know, pass over percenters or motorcycle clubs, you know, people feeling like they could just fly past the path. It's a respect thing. Anything dealing with the MC, uh, MC culture is about respect. You feel me? So if you are on a motorcycle, you should already have this knowledge. You feel me? It's not the concept that somebody owns in anything. You feel me? Like, could be a guy on a sports bike. It's a pack of motorcycle guys. And a road captain might want to come out, you feel what I'm saying, and block the lane so the pack can move over to take the next exit. Yeah. This fucking dumb fuck comes up the damn lane and hit, run into him. Now we got an accident. Yeah. Because you don't know how this organization operates. You don't know how this organization moves. You feel what I'm trying to say? So... You're trying to go past this, this, this person and this person not even knowing you're there and you nine out of the ten you're on the sports bike. You think you could just whoom and get right past it. And he comes out and while he coming out, you run it past. Crash. And, and a crash in our culture could be a whole pack going down and multiple people losing their life. But in the same boat, if everybody, this is the rebuttal of that. If you're running your pack, how you supposed to be running your pack? You don't have that situation happen. Yeah, that's a fact. Because in our reality, you're supposed to have somebody on the, on the side. Of your fucking pack to make sure that doesn't happen. That's what your role captain is for. Yeah. Feel me? That's what your tail gunner is for. Is to make sure nobody does that. So if a person is able to do that, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because yeah. now you just leave anybody to come up beside you, shoot your fucking president in the head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you leave an opportunity. It's the same way if you're riding in a pack and you got gaps in the pack. And then a car comes into the pack. That ain't that car fault. You let that motherfucker. I mean, is he a dumb for doing it? Yeah. You feel me? But in the same boat, you literally put yourself in that position where you let them be able to get in there. Like, yeah. if you got a tight pack, nobody's going to try to ease in a tight pack. Yeah. If you have somebody in that lane that's blocking one in the front, one in the middle, one in the back, ain't nobody about to try to ease in there. And if somebody do ease into that first level, that's your job to say, hey, get your ass back there. Yeah. But if somebody's in that lane next to the pack, nobody can zoom up on them. You feel what I'm saying? So let's talk about the music. Um, when I was seeing the videos, I seen a genuine support in the video from the club, you know, and you could tell when it's genuine and when it's fake. And I could see you had so much support doing the music. Like, what's the vibe with that? Like, how was it? Like, how did you create that vibe between the brothers to like, you know, do the music and, and they be so supportive of it? Like that to jump in the videos and all that. Cause I know bros and clubs that 
They'll tell them, yo, you can't wear it, you're cut. Mm-hmm. You, we can't be in there with you. You know, like, so you got real support. Once upon a time, it was like that, like, block out patches and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I mean, after the Outlaw video, it was like, what can you really block out that is not already that's out there already? Yeah. You feel me? I mean, you could damn near get a, mom, uh, a set of rags off a mom. Uh, what's that wish.com yeah you feel me so it's like it ain't nothing really hitting no more you feel me so the support really is just come from the top and it's just trickle on down like the top I'm before I do anything I make sure I'm in the right light with the powers that be before I do anything because then the day whatever I do reflect them and vice versa yeah. you feel me so when I actually get the okay from or whatever the case may be it's mainly on the strength of they believe in what I'm doing. They believe in what I'm achieving. It's like, why well, stop a train that's already going? You feel me? Yeah. But like, I, it's not really, I need a stamp of approval, but my main goal of what I do is to make sure I'm going in the direction that everybody want to go. Like, yeah. You feel me? I don't, oh, I want to do this. So this is what I'm going to do. There's a lot of shit that I don't really want to do, but it's whatever the direction. And that's what a lot of people feel about that. Like people want to do what they want to do and not think about the overall, like every another brother that pay their dues and yeah. ride their mother and bike up and down the goddamn road. Never take accountability for like this, this. I mean, not accountability, but never take basically note of what the little people want. Like, you feel me? The ones that creates the body. You feel me? Yeah. So I make sure everybody, not just the top, but the top always got to check off for it for me. You feel me? But make sure everybody relate to it. And if everybody relate, everybody going to have a good time when it comes to me actually shooting a video. You feel me? Because it's like, this is what we want. Like, I go certain places. Niggas like, yo, we shooting a video today? Like, what song was you? They ain't got no music out. But in the same boat, the support mainly comes off of just positive energy. You feel me? Like, even when we just saw my earlier, it was like, yo, it's like, vibe is chill. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You know, it ain't really no extra shit and you just being you. You feel me? It comes natural when you actually not trying so hard. You have these guys that doing 50 million motherfucking things and can't get to two steps in front of them. Because yeah. they in their own what? You know what I mean? How was it um, collabing with the brother from Outcast? How was the pipeline? That was yeah. that trip down there was dope. As well. All right, where'd you shoot it? I was Florida, uh, Daytona, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, and I feel like I got shot. Uh, shot some of it in Maryland, um, Aberdeen, Maryland. Shout out to them brothers out there, my bro nephew, Newcastle, Delaware. Shout out my brother Zilla. You know what I'm saying my name is Tree Ball. You feel know what I'm saying? What was the vibe like? Was it weird to collab with those other clubs that were there? Or no. did it just bring everybody together? That shit was... A lot of... If you notice the video, a lot of people didn't have colors on. I have like back background footage of yeah. what was going on. And you would not know that these guys were in different clubs. Yeah, Like the interaction is so crazy. And if you know the history of, of all interactions that's there, yeah. uh, they're not supposed to with each other and you just watch that room you would not know these was this group right here is tg wills and outcast this right here is chosen wills and tg this one and you just sit here and you look and they smile and they giving jokes they laughing we got a, a clip where we cheers it you feel me? like we throwing up our cups and shit you feel me and they know what they're here for it ain't like we popped up there and we like go shoot a video we're telling you this is what we're coming here to do yeah. so you automatically come in and support it because now it's on the 10 a lot of people realize bro Tired of bullshit. We want to enjoy it again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that other shit that this is doing is getting in the way of actually enjoying the reason why we're doing it in the first place. You feel know what I'm saying? Now, if this sh- if your shit come with a full one cat, you feel know I me? Mean? You get dental, you get health benefits, go with the program. Yeah. <laughs> you feel know what I'm saying? But if you give them, if you contribute them more than you're receiving, you feel know what I'm saying? We get enjoyment from it. And a lot of people can't really put nothing into it because they got to stay in this little box. You feel mm-hmm. me? But that that situation down there just opened my eyes even more. Like, like I've been in situations by myself, alone on the road. Mm-hmm. But actually going down there and seeing how all these guys was interacting with each other and seeing that it was like, it's always the concept that, oh, black men can't get together. You know, this and the third, we can't unify. Last time we unified with the Panthers, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And you see a bunch of people that's supposed to be sworn enemies. You feel me? Literally breaking bread. Like, that's beyond biker shit to me. Like, yeah. that's literally on some straight, like, I'm proud of what I am and who I am type shit. Mm-hmm. All club shit to the side. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's doing more harm 
with the beefing than it was helping. Yeah. And the, the the peace that we are accumulating seems like it's way better now than it it was because I feel like it, it happened before, but it feel like it's more genuine now because the body is interacting with each other. It's not the top interacting; it's the body interacting. Yeah. And this shit at this point is across the country and it's spreading, and it, it's to a point where you got to be a fool to literally go against it. Now it's like, what is your motive? Or why you don't want this to happen? Yeah. You feel me? And nine's on the ten, you're smart. You know, divide and conquer. Yeah. But that's another story for another fucking time. So what's the plans for the future? You're going to be doing more music with other club members? You got anything cooking? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm always open for more music. I'm always open for more music. I'm pipe mom. Like, get back to that topic. That man showed me how to ride a fucking horse. Yeah. Feel me? Like, he took me to his spot. Like an actual horse? A fucking horse. Like a horse, bro. Like, like type <laughs> shit. Like, nigga, I'm from the city. Nigga, like, I ain't off that time. I ain't never rode a horse in my life. I, I only horse I seen was the ones police ride or the shit that be at the circus that leave them big ass piles of shit. They don't do that. That was in Florida. Nah, I was in Florida, and I'm just riding that bitch. And he got this big ass land. I'm riding this, bitch, riding this motherfucker. Like, wow. And after that, him and his wife made me and my big homie. He not even in the, on the motorcycle so This the jump me in. You know, this is my bro. Brought me out of the stuck. Like, you feel me? Be the seafood boys, bro. This is supposed to be a sworn enemy, and he got me in his house with his property, and they made me a seafood boy. And we had the greatest time ever, bro. That's dope. We laughed, we joked, like you would have sworn. This is my first time meeting him in person. Oh, let's make sure this is understood. I didn't have no relationship. The first rela- the, the creation of our relationship was basically a brother reached out to him to get my number because he wanted to do music. Now, in my mind at the time, nobody want to fuck with it because everybody scared to cross that, that line. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That line was bold as fuck. It wasn't blurred as it is now. Four niggas, you cross that line, it's a problem. Yeah. You feel me? He reached out, hit me up, like, yo, like, yeah, we need to do something. Like, because it's in the third. I'm like, all right, give me like two days. I think it was like two, three days. And I'm like, I was holding it because I was going to use Diamond Holder for myself. Mm-hmm. But in my mind, like, it makes more sense to have more than one Diamond on this song. So it's yeah. a multiple perspective. I said, yo, send me an email address. Send me the email. I mean, I sent, he sent me the email. I sent that shit back to him. And he hit me back within like five minutes. I was like, yo, this shit's fire, bro. Because I already recorded it already. Oh, yeah. I just had the second verse open because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Yeah. Send that shit to him. It's like, yo, I have this shit fire, bro. This the one right here. Like, this the one. Yeah. And we recorded it. And it was certain ones got wind that we was doing it. And it was already motherfuckers trying to stop it at first. Oh, yeah. You feel me? really wanted to go but then it was like all right we're gonna keep it quiet then some shit happened where we want to fuck with each other it got real a little bit so everybody spread and it was like this is a bad time to drop this fucking song like, yeah we can't drop this song now like it ain't gonna hit how it's supposed to hit mm-hmm. and he was like well we need i'm like yo we gotta fucking literally get all this shit lined up we gotta shoot a video for this motherfucker release so when when things do clear the fuck up we have everything ready and we can just Huh, like yeah. push it. But then when I went down there, the whole video, like the video that you see was not the video it was supposed to be. Yeah. A lot of things had to get taken out. We couldn't be at certain clubhouses. You know what I'm saying? Um, colors was exempt, like you feel what I'm saying? Certain, like yeah. me, nobody might tell me I can't wear my shit. Like I'm yeah. gonna die with my shit on. So, yeah. and not to mention, I have a support system where it was like, do your thing, bro. Like, yeah. cause I haven't really, I'm, I haven't really missed when it comes to like, you feel me? I, 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 I deliver, but I stay in my lane when I deliver. You get what yeah. I'm trying to say? I don't, I don't never like to overstep because at the end of the day, I don't like my toes stepped on, so I don't want to step on nobody else's toes. Yeah. You feel me? So it was a lot. That, that video, we shot that in what, the beginning of this year. And it got to a point where I was like, look, only reason why I ain't putting out is because that's my man. And it's, yeah, I'll cast my book, pipe one. Yeah. So this is my man. I don't want to get him in no trouble. I'm like, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna put this motherfucker out. So if y'all gonna iron this shit the fuck out and go with the flow of it or whatever, or fuck you. <laughs> like, 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 all right, I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to be like literally politically correct, like I said earlier, yeah. but in the same boat, that was how I was feeling because it's like, this is something we created. It ain't like me saying this shit like, fuck them. Yeah. We literally talking about unity. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, how can you hate on unity? 
Yeah. How? Like, he, the man literally says it in the song. Like, how the f*** you gonna be mad at this? Yeah. You must be a fool if you don't like this shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it makes me question what is your motive of not liking it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we went months after months. It's like, man, it was Fonz being thrown around. I'm hearing this shit like that. It was so much weird shit behind closed doors. But it was weird that once we literally, once I put it out like, yo, dropping the shit, man. Because I, I told them, like, yo, they, they told me it was cool. Like, ah, you heard the song. Got the point. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It was like, ah, I, I, I understand it now. You feel me? I don't know what was the process of him getting it or why he wasn't understanding it before. I can't speak for that. Mm-hmm. But I know at the end of the day, once I delivered it, he was like, yo, that shit a bop. It's all right. I f*** with it. And it was like, all right, do y'all thing. But it was still, can't win no rags in that bitch. Can't be in nobody's clubhouse. And I respect it because at the end of the day, I understand what it is. And yeah. like I said, I know what I signed up for. When I first seen that video, I was like, people don't even understand what no that man had to go through to make man. that video push through. Man, bro. And it, and it's, you got like I'm gonna tell you before, it's like a lot of hurt on both sides. So yeah. of course I'm I'm getting a little backlash from where I'm at. Yeah. And it wasn't like really bad, like it's just like, hey, wow. But I've been in a situation where I know other people who complain and ain't. Like I've been involved. Let's just say that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like, if I could put my feelings to the fucking side, why the fuck you can't? Some of you didn't even cross the paths of yeah. these people. You feel what I'm saying? So I can you speak on this level. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of of opposition where you never play the part. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And I, as not to belittle nobody or whatever the case may be, but it's just like, I, me, I was taught to stay in my lane. The things that I know I speak of, if I don't know none of it, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But you got these guys that don't know what the f- they talking about and they speak on things. And that's usually why we probably is in the situation we is in the day. Don't quote me on that. You feel me? I'm, I'm not the most historian to come to that, but. I don't like where we was at. And I felt like it could be nothing wrong with giving out positive, you know, a positive output. You feel me? Or a positive input. You feel what I'm saying? On what's going on today. And from my knowledge, from what's been going on since we released it, it's been nothing but positivity. Like I haven't seen nothing negative come from that at all. So tell the people where they can find it, all your plugs and all that. Man, you can find my music on YouTube, anything that's a streaming platform, bro. Like, T- uh, Instagram Sean twenty four underscore seven. Uh, I don't really do in- Instagram. I mean, not Instagram. I don't really do Twitter. Or was it X now? That's what it's called. X now, yeah. That guy's weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't do that much. My music is Tayshawn T A A space S H O N. You type that anywhere, it's just gonna pop up. And your YouTube is Tayshawn too, right? Yeah, it's Tayshawn yeah, too. My brother, I appreciate you sending out with me. Legendary. Oh, <laughs>